Antonio Brown says head coach Bruce Arians knew that his ankle was severely injured. The truth comes out. This is Raw Status TV. Hit that thumbs up. The Raw Status IG and Twitter. We are back. This is a text between Arians and Antonio Brown, wide receiver of the Bucks, that was released today. This is Bruce Arians. Make sure you're, he misspelled you're, ready to go tomorrow. We are not resting for the playoffs. Call me, Antonio Brown. I'm all in, coach. Really can't get to full speed. I want to win because... I want to win, want to be there. If I wake up tomorrow, feel better. I'll be ready. Kind of rolled it outside on a two point play. I want what's best for team. Let me know when you free. I'll call you. Come see me in the morning. We'll talk it out. Definitely want you with us in case you're ready. That's a response from Bruce Arians. So I don't really hear the media going in on Bruce Arians. If this coach a la Mike Shanahan and RG3 really tried to force an injured player into the game. I'm sure this happens all the time, but shouldn't he receive a little bit more criticism? Here's another statement released by Antonio Brown's attorney on Antonio, Antonio Brown's behalf. Because of my commitment to the game, I relented to pressure directly from my coach to play injured. Despite the pain, I suited up. The staff injected me with what I know, with what I now know was a powerful and sometimes dangerous p- painkiller that the NFLPA has warned against using. And it gave and I gave it my all for the team. I played until it was clear that I could not use my ankle to safely perform my playing responsibilities. On top of that, the pain was extreme. I took a seat on the sideline and my coach came up to me very upset and shouted, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I told him it's my ankle, but he knew that it was well documented and we discussed it. He then ordered me to get to the field. This writing's kind of small. Bear with me. I said, coach, I can't. He didn't call for medical attention. Instead, he shouted at me. You're done while he ran his finger across his throat. Coach was telling me that if I didn't play hurt, then I was done with the Bucks. I didn't quit. I was cut. I didn't walk away from my brothers. I was thrown out being fi- being fired on the sideline for having a painful injury. injury. Was bad enough. Then came their spin. Coach denied on national television that he knew about my ankle. That's 100% inaccurate. Not only did he know. I missed several games with the injury. He and I exchanged texts days before the game. So that was what those were the texts that I was reading, I presume. This is serious, people. You're talking about someone that was forced to take a painkiller that the NFL's Players Association, the NFL Players Association warns against. Now, this is that treatment that we're talking about. This is the disrespect of the athlete that they complain about. This is the Mike Shanahan RG3 mentality. Force somebody to play on an injured ankle, then lie about it to the media, allegedly. This whole thing is starting to sound very suspicious, and I'm looking at sports media today. And... They're still acting like a guy taking off his shirt and doing jumping jacks is somehow the craziest thing they've ever seen. I guess crazier than those NBA players being attacked by police officers. It's just so crazy. You see, they throw that crazy label around whenever you see an athlete buck the system and not allow themselves to be treated like property. We respect Antonio Brown for the stand that he took we like the attitude we like the rebellious nature and i think more athletes should stand up for themselves if they have the leeway to do so now don't forget this is a star athlete somebody someone that has made his money but i understand while while other players have to be careful you like what you see when somebody stands up against the system I've noticed a line of divide in the sports media, as always, it's divided on racial lines. You got people like white boy Nick Wright, who I'm going to do a video on later, him and his black wife. He's sounding very white supremacist like. So people talk about Antonio Brown's past, whatever, whatever. 
You don't have to be a perfect person to be in the right. Now, if you want to talk about locker room issues and all that, I say if you're cut because you because you refused to play on an injured ankle, then that nullifies everything that happened in your past. And we need to seriously talk about Bruce Arians and should he be reprimanded? Is that not conduct detrimental to the team? You see, they come down with the heavy hammer on these players, but they allow these coaches, these white coaches to be as unethical as they want. So perhaps this is a problem that needs to be exposed and talked about and dealt with by the players union. And I want to hear more criticism towards Bruce Arians, but you're not going to hear that from the mainstream sports media. That's why you tune in here. Leave your comments in the box and let me know what you think. This is Raw Status TV.